Dark Monster Moon 87 here, and today's solo will be about Hanbi. So here we go. Now, this walkthrough is going to consist of uh, basically how his movesets are. He's like the Mitsunati of this game, kind of. He's fast as hell, can combo his ass off, can absorb your health because he has a dark element weapon, which is pretty badass. Also, I would like to wish everybody had an excellent Thanksgiving. Don't mind me right now. I've only got four hours of sleep this whole entire week. <laughs> I know you must be like, and you're gaming? Yeah, I am. I have so much work to get done and everything, but I'm glad that I have today off. And yesterday I had off also for Thanksgiving, which is kind of a shocker because usually my job gives us work like almost every damn day. Yeah, it's pretty crazy how everything's going. All the solos and seriouses and requests I've been getting. I've been loving it. And it's pretty awesome. So shout out to everybody that's been sending me requests through my inbox. Well, these are some of his moves right here. The thing I love about this game is that you can actually see the moves like through a video on the side as you see it right there and he has so many moves to choose from each character has a whole bunch of moves but I love this character because he's powerful and he can do a lot of combos pretty fast even without pressing the L2 button which hypes them up and basically speeds up the process of uh, attacks and everything like that This move is pretty awesome. The only thing is, is that if you're playing on a harder difficulty and the enemy generals end up hitting you, they might knock you out the move. So that's what kind of sucks about this move, even though it looks badass. And it lasts is kind of long from what I see right there. <laughs> yeah, this move right here reminded me of Kenshin from Sengoku Basura 3 Tagi. When he ran and just did the slicing and everything, but it has like an add on to it. He can jump in the air and slash you. It's pretty hot. I, le I love his weapon too because it's like an extended sword. It reminds me of Ivy from Soul Calibur. Kind of. It's kind of the same weapon, kind of thinking about it. So, yeah, let me get this started real quick. Let's see, let's see. Yes, let's start battle. The loading screen is awesome because it shows it like all the characters and like anime looking for him. The brothers, yes, will fight him to the death. The stage is so messed up, like if I don't take care of it, all the buildings and everything gets destroyed. <laughs> In a way, it's kind of funny, but let's see what I can pull off really quick. Okay, let's get it started. Have to protect this town. Yeah, okay. Let me just get right to the point. Excellent combos. Yeah, that guy did not see that one coming. Yeah. Take that. You're dead. Let's run to this area. I'm trying to secure this area as quick as possible, but I think it's kind of going to be a little pain in the ass because all the enemies keep popping out of nowhere. Yeah, I got you. You're definitely not gonna survive. The cool thing I like about this move right here is that the enemy can be behind you and you can still hit him. So that's a bonus just in case if enemies are trying to sneak up from behind you and attack you like a little punk ass. By the way, this is from Sangoku Basura HD Collection. 
game is like 40 bucks. I suggest you get it if you're a big hack and slash fan. And love swords and all types of weapons to fight armies, then yeah, you would definitely love this game right here. That's for sure. A lot of twins just popped out, the little triplets, Garcia. <laughs> They're like, yeah, we actually don't look alike under this mask right here, but uh, we're brothers, so uh, we're gonna kick your ass really quick. Wow, they're so fast. They left like a little streak of wind while they were dashing to the side. <laughs> That's funny as hell. What the? Ah, uh, everything's getting destroyed now. That's not cool. That's not cool. Let's see what we got here. Trying to kill all these enemies and it's like uh, look at look at these guys. They're all attacking just one building. That's so pathetic. Uh, this building's like lopsided. No bueno, no bueno. More enemies. Come on. That sucks. At least the fish are still alive. <laughs> I just noticed that you think the fish would die too after they destroyed the building and everything, but they're actually still alive. I know you're not trying to attack me head on. That's a bad choice, buddy. Yeah, you're dead. Oh, not yet. You're about to be asked. <laughs> Wow, that's so much stuff. Look at him. He's still <laughs> Why are you still trying to attack a building that's already destroyed? Why? Try to do some side to side step tricks. That's not gonna work. So basically, the buildings are gonna keep getting destroyed because these guys are just jumping on one building at a time. And me, I'm just gonna destroy them while they're attacking the building one at a time. This is crazy. So yeah, I got a lot of Sangoku Basura HD collection requests and I'm gonna make that happen slowly but surely, as you see right here. I got a special request coming up very soon. Can't wait to try that. It's gonna be awesome. Come on, are you serious? This boss with this special is off the hook. I love it. <laughs> he just makes the enemy look like they're nobody. Oh, nice setup combo right there. Nice setup. Oh, uh, you're side stepping. I can do that too. Come on, come on, where you running? Oh, run. Good night. Let's see if I can kill one more enemy before this is up. Yeah, but this is Dark Masamune 87. I hope you all enjoyed this solo of Hanbi. Please stay tuned for more. Mr. Hack and Slash, over and out. Peace.